hacker group Fancy Bears has leaked a second batch of documents from the World Anti-Doping Agency. It lists dozens of athletes from a number of countries, including the United States, UK, Russia and Germany, who allegedly used banned substances. Among those mentioned in the new leaks is top British cyclist Chris Froome, three-time winner of the Tour de France and a bronze medalist in the Rio Olympics. Another athlete who, according to the leaks, has used banned substances is US swimming star Kathleen Baker, who won a silver and team gold in Rio. Well, RT's Guyana Chichikan tried to find out why some athletes are allowed to use banned medicines and others are not. From the leaked WADA documents, many of us learned for the first time that the anti-doping agency can secretly allow athletes to take banned substances for medical reasons through the so-called therapeutic use exemption. The documents show that tennis stars Serena and Venice Williams were allowed to take a number of banned drugs for undisclosed medical reasons. Venice Williams responded to the leak saying, I have followed the rules established under the tennis anti-doping program in applying for and being granted therapeutic use exemption. Gymnast Simone Biles was permitted to take banned methylphenidate during the Rio Olympics where she won four gold medals. In the past she was also allowed to take dextroamphetamine which is banned for other athletes. Simone Biles wrote, I have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and I have taken medicine for it since I was a kid. Please know I believe in clean sport, have always followed the rules and will continue to do so. Some doctors like Claudia Reardon and Robert Factor from the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine believe that the use of stimulants in sports, even for those diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, is quote unquote controversial. Having reviewed the potential of performance enhancement, they wrote, quote, our ultimate recommendation is that stimulants should not be used by high level adult athletes, end quote. As we have learned, WADA can make exceptions. A medical record doesn't always shield an athlete. Russian tennis star Maria Sharapova says her doctor prescribed her meldronate, another name for meldonium, for heart issues and a magnesium deficiency. And she had been taking the medication for 10 years before it became a banned substance on January 1st. Maria tested positive for the drug shortly after. She says she was not aware of the ban. The Tennis Federation Tribunal concluded that she had not intended to violate the banned substance rules, yet the Federation suspended her for two years just because of the fact that she was in violation. One wonders, had Maria been aware of the ban and had she filled out the right paperwork with WADA, would she have been allowed to continue taking her meldonium? Experts say it is not easy to get WADA to give you an exemption for banned substances, but as we have seen from the leaked documents, WADA has done that for quite a few athletes. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chagyan, RT.